Hey guys, have you ever thought your Fitbit could do more than just track your steps and monitor your heart rate? Let's jump into this groundbreaking research from ETH Zurich in Switzerland. Scientists have uncovered a method to control human genes using electricity. They've named it Electrogenetic Interface. Think of it like this. We have a regular wearable device. And then we have this new technology that uses electricity to boost our health directly. In their lab trials, Swiss scientists used this technique to encourage insulin production. Here's how it worked. They implanted specially designed human pancreatic tissues into mice with type 1 diabetes. They then used acupuncture needles to supply a direct current, stimulating these tissues. This method, named DART, was able to bring the mice's blood sugar levels back into a normal range. The exciting part is the bridge DART creates between our techie gadgets and our biological systems. The electricity produces reactive oxygen species, which, if managed well, can activate cells engineered to respond to these changes. By influencing these cellular switches, the team can alter gene expressions and potentially tackle various conditions linked to genetics. Though our genes remain fairly constant throughout our lives, their expression can alter with age and lifestyle. DART offers a potential solution to reverse some of these changes. Imagine a future where your fitness tracker does more than count your steps. And the best part? DART is energy efficient. Just three AA batteries could power it for five years if it's used once daily. We're not saying you'll have a Fitbit that manages diabetes soon, but the possibilities are thrilling. The team believes that in the future, wearable devices could program metabolic interventions directly. For those looking for a deep dive, the research is available in the journal Nature Metabolism. That's it for today, guys. If you found this intriguing, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates from the world of science and tech.